Syracuse. Derrick Henry, Alabama running back, and he uh, came bearing gifts. Not that we, we get this, but we get to see it again. It's the uh, Heisman Trophy. Congrats, first of all, on uh, picking up the hardware there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, how surprised were you when you're sitting there and you're waiting for the announcement? Uh, I was uh, very surprised, very nervous. My heart about to beat on my chest. I was so nervous, but I was thankful that they, they presented me with the trophy and just happy to have it. Okay, did you have a speech written or did you have one in your head? Well, we just made bullet points right before the, uh, the ceremony, and I just want to speak from the heart. Let's not forget the people that uh, helped me get there. I love the fact that, I mean, you thanked all the right people, but you were telling kids, hey, it's okay, have a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, but did you need to have somebody tell you to have a dream so you could be it? I mean, you thought you would win this one day, didn't you, in high school? Yeah, I mean, that was my uh, lifelong goal, been a dream of mine as a kid. And I was just telling kids to have a dream and always pray just because when I was a kid, I had college players I looked up to, and I, I'm sure they have college players to look up to. So I just wanted to tell them to dream and just go after it. Who did you look up to? Um, I looked up to Mark, uh, Tebow. Mark Ingram? Yeah, Tebow, um, Trent, I mean, Adrian Peterson. Just guys like that, guys who had a great career in college. Who did you want to meet at the Heisman ceremony? Uh, I wanted to meet Earl Campbell, Bo Jackson, Herschel Walker, you know because those guys played my position and were great at it. And you broke some of their records, too. I don't know if they were too pleased about that. <laughs> well, um, you know, uh, Bo Jackson, he was very supportive, so I appreciate that. But And that's an Auburn guy. Yeah, that's an Auburn guy, so I was very appreciative of that for him to uh, him say that he, he supported me, and, you know, I looked up to him growing up. But growing up in Florida, how long did it take for you to understand Alabama and Auburn and how much they dislike one another. Well, growing up in Florida, I never really knew about uh, Alabama and Auburn, like the rivalry or anything like that until I got to the school and we, we lost to them our freshman year and that's when I really started getting the, the hang of and the feel for it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long for Coach to tell you yeah. that you hate those guys? Well, 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 well you see it around Alabama because it's only Alabama and Auburn, so you got to pick between the two. There's no in-between, so you know you kind of pick up that uh, when you're in Alabama. If your car broke down near the Auburn campus, would they help you? Yeah, they would help me. You know, I got some friends at, that are at Auburn that I knew in high school, and you know, we know it's a rivalry at the same time. It's still a, a sportsmanship, and we respect each other, and I respect their game. Oh, you're being nice. Because no, if, no. if Cam Newton's car breaks not, not, down not, there not, in Alabama? Now, there's some students I don't think I, I get help, <laughs> but I know if a player would they'll help me. <laughs> I don't think they would help me. Give me that moment where you said, I, I'm, di I'm different than people. I, I, I have a chance to do something physically, you know, for my life. I, I got a chance to do this professionally. Was there a moment in high school, grade school? Not really this different than people. I just wanted to be great. And I knew for you to be great, you got to work hard and uh, overdo some things like uh, work out before everybody else does, work out at the practice, become more a student of the game and just, just, do, just do work and work. You, you just got to work to just be better and better. And that's what the great ones do, I think. All right. Uh, we're talking to Derrick Henry, the Alabama running back. Your senior year numbers, come on. Give me the numbers here. How many yards you rush for? My senior year that season, I rushed for like 4,000 yards. So <laughs> 55 touchdowns, 57 touchdowns. Who are you playing against that you get 55 touchdowns? Man, you know, my, my, my town's a small town, so, you know, but at the same time, we weren't scared to play anybody, but we couldn't play everybody that, that, that we wanted to. I mean, to. did and the teams look like this group over here, my guys? Is that <laughs> who you're playing against? I mean, it, it, it wasn't that uh, big of a guy. I was just bigging everybody. You know, in, in high school, that's how it usually goes. You got a, a good athlete. You're always bigging everybody and things like that. But I had a great team. We, we played against some good teams, too. Most yards you rush for in one game? Uh, 510. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Most touchdowns. Uh, I had six or seven. Yeah. It must be nice when you're not quite sure. I mean, you must be really good <laughs> when you go, I don't know, six or seven. Did you ever play in the second half? Yeah, I played in the oh, second half. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Some games I didn't, but I played in the second half. Last time Coach Saban yelled at you? It was in camp. Oh, boy. It was in camp. Um, we were doing a team run segment, and uh, we had, uh, I think I ran like th three plays, and I was running the hard. And then Coach said, start it over, start the whole period over. I was like, what? <laughs> so I had to go again, and, you know, I got winded. And I was like, what's going on? He was like, don't you ask no questions. Just go out there and work hard and do your job. Ooh. Are you allowed to have fun with him? Yeah, he's fun. I mean, he, he jokes around. But at the same time, we know when it's business time when we got to get to work. Can you make fun of him? Oh, yeah, 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 we do, but not not all the time. But, I mean, we, 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 have, we have fun. In sometimes. front of him or be, uh, you know, when you go back? I mean, well, he's not. He's not. I mean, he, he, he's a players coach. I mean, we, we have fun with him, but at the same time, we know his business. But when it's time to joke around, we joke around. Can you imitate him? 
I can't entertain. Well, yeah, I can a little bit. <laughs> uh, we, we're, you got a Heisman here. You're yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, you're going to be playing the NFL so next that's, that's year. Especially when we're practicing, when he feels like practice is not going, going real fast. We're like, guys, come on, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't scare you when he does that. No, no, that's, I'm used to it now. <laughs> What if he was right outside and he walked in right now after he saw you do that? He'll laugh. He'll laugh. Oh, he he'll would. Laugh. He'll laugh. Um, the goal to play in the NFL, obviously he's there mm -hmm. as a junior. Mm -hmm. How much thought have you given it? Not given it thought at all. I just uh, focusing on my team and uh, a game we got coming up against Michigan State. Look Very at you. Excited. All the right answers here. You know, I mean, and, and, and that's serious. You know, we get a chance to play in the playoffs again. You know, our second time and. Very blessed for that, having teammates and coaches that I have. But we know that we want to uh, finish it the right way, where we got to uh, prepare and uh, focus and challenge each other throughout the weeks. Could you have gone pro out of high school? I don't know about that. I'm, I don't think I, w I was ready. But you, know you I mean? see these NBA, like these kids who yeah. go to Kentucky and play one year and one and done. Mm -hmm. It's very rare when you have somebody at college football be one and done. Yeah, I don't think that would You wouldn't happen. have been ready? I wouldn't have been ready because there's more stuff you got to know about the game. A lot of technique and attention to detail and just a lot more you got to learn about the game man from coaching to players and just growing as a player in person I mean, it's, it's just a lot that you got to know who's your favorite nfl team i don't really have one but growing up i was a Damian thompson fan so once he left i just became a fan of all all teams so the chargers got a high draft pick this year there you go but you, you see what i'm doing but here they, they, they do have a great young back in melvin gordon you know what I'm saying? Who's, That's not, uh, yeah. who's a promising You could back. be, you know, two different, you know, Cowboys. There you go. <laughs> there, look at the smile on his face. <laughs> Cowboys, you all right with that? Yeah, I, I'll, be, I'll be all right with that, <laughs> but still. But still you grew up in Florida, though, mm. so you didn't root for the Dolphins or you don't care about the Jaguars or Tampa Bay? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I care about the Jaguars because that's like 25 minutes away from my house, and it's, it's considered the whole team. And, and like T.J. Yeldon is one. Yeah, T.J. Yeldon is there. Yeah, he's doing a great job for them, so. You know, I'm a fan of him, and I still got a little small place in my heart for the Jaguars. How much did it hurt last year in the playoffs? It hurt a lot. You know, um, we feel like we could have uh, finished better, but you know, we got another chance this year. I'm saying to was Ohio State that much better? You know, they they just played better. They uh, outplayed us. You know, and they and they wanted it more, and we understood that. So we got to make sure we come in a, a different mindset and prepare hard this week. How's your? I know you uh, gave a shout out to your grandmother. Mm -hmm. How's she doing? She's doing a lot better. I mean, every day is, is, is the progress. She's getting better and better. And it's, it's just hard seeing her like that because she's always so upbeat. But I know she'll get over it. So she raised you? She raised me. She raised me. My, my, my mom and dad were young, and she took over and raised me to the person I am today. Are you going to bring the husband to the hospital? Oh, hopefully I can one day. You know, if I get an opportunity, I will. And let her let her see and let her hold it. Yeah. Well, it's emotional when you're up there. Even though you're trying to prepare for that speech, mm -hmm. till you get up there in the, in the moment. Yeah, I mean. And and you got to hold that trophy. How much that way? Forty five pounds. See, so I love that the photographers are there and they want him. They're like, Derek, hold up, the, hold up the trophy, trophy. And you're you're starting to sweat a little bit. I'm there. starting to sweat like I'm doing a full <laughs> workout with curls. I was, oh my god! I was trying to hold that smile, but at the same time, I was like, good lord. <laughs> How many times do you think you could curl the Heisman? I don't even know. That thing is heavy. Like a one-arm You pick it up, your arm just starts shaking. <laughs> just, just trying to hold it. Well, there's a lot of guys who would love to try to pick that thing up. Yes, sir. Uh, congrats. Great season for you. Good luck against Michigan State. And uh, you, did a gr you did well. Great, great speech. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all having me.